Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Kevin, the Katie Hill Farmer. Today we got an exciting video for you. We are going to be making the ultimate fishing bike in today's vlog. We are going to put all the parts, we got them all laid out here on the table. We're going to go through them one by one. We're going to put them on the bike and we're going to make the ultimate fishing bike. So, and uh, why I'm making this bike is for a simple reason, some of the trails and uh, where we can here, they're only accessible by bike or horse, no motorized, nothing like that. So if you wanna go trout fishing or, and we got a bunch of rails for trails around here and they all kinda, you know, most of the railroads went by river and uh, you can go through there guys. With, with this setup, you'll be able to go fish wherever you wanna go fish. Uh, but I wanted to bring this to you, I wanted to, get this bike build. We're going to try to do it, not including the bike, but just uh, the accessories under hundred dollars, which I think we will be able to. The bike itself we got at Walmart. It is a 29 inch mountain bike. And I don't know if you can hear that, but the snow is falling off the building roof. It's snowing pretty good uh, at the house right now. You can actually hear it hitting the ceiling, but <clears throat> anyhow, it is a 29 inch because I'm a tall guy, guys. I'm 6'2". 250 pound right now. So I wanted something with shocks in a full body or a full suspension bike. Uh, when I used to bike years ago, I used to ride the hardtails and I'm getting too old for that. But anyhow, guys, let's go ahead and get into it. Thanks for watching. Also, let's go check out the uh, Instagram's heavy media or heavy media, excuse me, I'm trying to throw some of the work language in there, but <laughs> check out the Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at all the social medias at Katie Hill Farmer. Also guys, if you wanna become a channel member, it's down there. If you like what you see on this farm vlog, hit the subscribe button. If you ain't subscribed, hit the thumbs up button if you are and leave a comment down below. I do try to get back and answer all comments that people leave. So if I don't get to you for a while, I'm sorry, but usually I go try to go through at least once a week or maybe sometimes more and try to answer back comments. So leave what you want to down there boom you gotta love it but leave what you want in the comment section guys i'll try to get back to you if you have any questions about this build this may become a two-part series i don't know so if it is like i said hit the subscribe button so you can catch the next video so let's go ahead and get into it so guys one of the first things we're going to do here is we're going to get rid of this hard nasty seat and what you're going to do there is you're just going to loosen up there's a clamp right here you just loosen it up just grab a hold of your bar right there, pull it out. There you go, it's out. Now all we'll have to do is take and get rid of the instructions. We ain't gonna need them. We'll take this bolt loose and that's what clamps it onto your seat. We'll go ahead and leave the reflector on there if we can. I believe this seat does have a built-in reflector, but all we gotta do is take this nut loose right there, guys, and we'll, we will be putting on the seat. So let's go ahead and we'll take this off and we'll get the new seat put on. Okay guys, here's the new seat that we're going to put on and it does have a built-in spring system. You guys can find this on Amazon if you want to. Click the link below to my Amazon affiliate page. It'll be in there. Yeah guys, I do make a couple cents off of that if you do buy something off of there, but it's, it's not priced no higher. I, I don't believe it is anyhow. But that is the seat on go. Like I said, it does have a little reflective piece of sticker. I believe this thing was like 20 some bucks, but it's got a lot more padding, a lot easier on your bottom. So let's go ahead and get this. This is the seat that came with the bank or bike. Very, very hard. Just didn't want to, didn't want nothing to do with that. So let's go ahead and get this off here. And of course it is a different size than the other one, which I think I got it right here. Probably don't need an extension for this, guys, but I have it on there, so I'm just gonna keep it on there. Go ahead and take this thing. And that seat, yep, seat's ready to pop off. Again, that's all you gotta do. Sorry if you guys hear the snow falling. It's falling off the roof right now. Like I said, it's snowing pretty good, like you guys seen earlier in the video. It's really putting it down out there. So anyhow, you're gonna put this seat on. Nothing. Like I said, you just got two bolts that clamp the seat to the post. And you 
guys can also, if you want to, you can adjust, adjust the pitch on this, which I can see it needs adjusted a little bit because it is slamming way downhill. Put it down here. There we go. That's a little bit level. All right, let's go ahead and tighten this bad boy up. Guys, it really don't matter where it goes on the post because you can tighten it with that clamp later on that's on the bike. <clears throat> Pretty doggone tight, if I do say so myself. Okay, and you, like I said, there's a little shank right there. If you want to let that rest all the way on ball mat shank, that's fine also. So let's go ahead, we'll put this thing on the bike, slide it down the hole, get it adjusted to our height. And, uh, and remember when you adjust it to your height, and I'll show you here in a little bit. Like I said, I, I want to go over how I build this because uh, you see, it's becoming a new trend with uh, cough, cough going around and all that. So, you know, a lot more people are enjoying the outdoors, at least they are around here. So let's go ahead and put this on there and we'll get it adjusted. Again, put it back down. If you want, need to tighten, tighten your clamp back up, I don't think I need to. And right there, which that's gonna be way too high. I'm gonna say about right there for me. Like I said, I'll sit on it. And that's still a little bit too high for me, guys. So I'm gonna have to lower it down just a little bit more. Let's try that. And I'm happy with that. That It's a pretty nice seat. It's nice and comfy. The handlebars need to come up a little bit. We can do that later on. But uh, so far, the bike has a pretty good suspension on it for a Walmart bike, I'll say that. But there's the seat part. Now what we're going to get into is we're going to put a basket right here that comes out from the rear tire. Hopefully there's enough room to get a clamp in there. We may have to do away with the light. I ain't sure, but we're probably going to have to. And looking at that seat now is, is going to need adjusted down a little bit. I don't know if I can... Yeah. Just a little bit there. So we'll keep it, we'll keep it about like that. So let's go ahead, we'll get the basket on it. And you've seen the basket, I'll go ahead and show it to you one more time. And this is the basket that's coming with it. It is lightweight, it is aluminum. So it should be very easy to put on. Even gives you some instructions. Like I said, this was probably the most expensive part. This is probably like 32 bucks, I think it was. So. That's probably the most expensive item. Gives you pretty good instructions and on how to put everything in. Like I said, I hope I have enough room on my seat to put this because this does go to your seat post. So I'm hoping I have enough room. If not, we can always make it work. But it looks like to me this thing's pretty easy. Looking at it right here, it is pretty doggone easy to get off if you want to. And it looks like you just got to unscrew it kick it over maybe oh i see what's holding it out it would be easy to take off if if what wasn't for that right there that you guys are seeing in the camera right now but it also has well like i said that's it gives you step by step step by step instructions we'll have to definitely read them so let's go ahead we'll get this thing over there we will get it put on and we will see how it goes Okay, since we're over here, guys, we are going to take off the light to be able to, in order to fit it in there. It just takes a Phillips screwdriver. Since, since I'm in my garage, you want to make sure that you pick everything up here. If not, it will get in a tire. Hopefully, by this time next year, this thing will be concreted. I'll lay this over here on the table. 
get my basket and lay that down. So we're probably going to unscrew that out. Screw this back in now. This thing is a long, long screw to thread. And there you have it. I'm not really thrilled about that because I figured it would tighten up on the seat post and it did not. I need to, I would say they do that because, okay. Sorry. See, I already screwed up. I should have read these to begin with. There should be some kind of rubber clamp that goes in there to tighten this down on. So you guys can make fun of me later for not reading the, the instructions. Let me find this. And with a little YouTube magic, it kind of looks like that. Now I'm all right with the way it's setting right there. I really am without no supports, but we're gonna go ahead and put the supports in. and. What it does is it comes with a couple rubber spacers that go in to go on your seat post. So it wasn't nothing. It was a pain in the butt to get them to stay there while you're trying to tighten it. But other than that, it wasn't too bad. Just need to get everything kind of straightened around here, which you can move that a little bit. But let's go ahead. We'll get, like I said, this thing has braces that you put on it. We'll try to get those braces put on to see if they'll mount up on there. Then we'll get the rod holder and all that hooked up. So let's go ahead and get those. We'll start putting them on. Guys, before we put these arms on right here, let me go ahead and say that this uh, holder, whatever you want to call it on the back of your bike, you can loosen up Allen screws and move that rack back. So that bike rack right there will be able to move backwards. Now all we gotta do is put these linkages in, which they just go on the bike. They are adjustable. So pretty much made to fit any bike you have. So again, on those, these are the little rubber strips that come with it. So you have to use those and that's gonna probably knock down a lot of, you know, clanging and banging. So you wanna make sure you definitely put those on there. And plus I'd say it'll make for a better fit overall fit for the bike. So all I'm doing now is I'm taking this apart to get it so we can get it on there and then we'll get it adjusted. Okay guys, so you're gonna start right here. This thing, it gives you pretty much everything to do this build with, which is pretty nice. The only thing it don't give you is something to back the nut with, but from what I'm seeing right now, is everything has a it's like cut in so the nut can't turn in there now i'm kind of doing this backwards from what the instructions say so i ain't going to tighten that real tight and then we'll put this up through here put it like that probably move it to about right there i like that this rod is adjustable, as you can see. You can move it in or out, so this should fit pretty well any bike that you put it on, I would imagine. So I'm thinking if we go right like that right there, so I'm gonna have to get a piece of that rubber, put it behind that, like so. Again, that's gonna calm, calm down on a lot of your banging and clanging. So you, I would recommend, <clears throat> recommend using that rubber. Then you take this piece that came with it, put that over like so. And then you have your bolts that I took out prior. Make sure, I guess it really don't matter how that goes, but according to this, it's shown it with with this a symbol right here pointed this way and the back part that way. So 
we'll go ahead and do it like that. I guess it'll make it easier in the long run if we don't get in a hurry and just try to whiz through this. Go ahead and put that nut on there. Do the same thing for the bottom. My hands ain't wanting to work as well, I guess, guys. But we'll get it on there. No, no harm, no foul. And we got that on there. I should have rigged up my my Allen, put a, some kind of type of Allen on my, there we go. We're gonna have to be right up to that thing right there in order for this to work on this bike. Take your Allen bolt, thread it on there. It's not threading hard at all, which I'm thankful for. Go ahead and get this one started. Get back in your little slot, buddy. And it is being a pain in the butt and don't want to go in its home. But uh, I'll go ahead and get that tightened up and then we'll go move to the other side and get that part put on. Okay, guys, we got that all tightened up and adjusted. As you can see, it's pretty snug. Again, this is adjustable, so if you wanted to slide that back, if you put a box on there, whatever you put on there. Now we gotta do is put these support rails on same thing put them up through everything's i don't know what you call that where they have like a built-in bolt holder i call it very nice but sometimes you don't get that lucky and get that stuff so you got to have a wrench to back it on there which i don't mind i ain't lazy so put those on like that Get your Allen wrench. Like I said, this Allen wrench comes with this kit, guys. So, give it a few turns. That's snug. snug so there's one side of it you got that on there that's one side of it done completed I go ahead and tighten this down there you have it well I, this also comes with a nice bungee which we'll show you here towards the end of the video let's go ahead and do the other side and then I think we got yeah we got one more accessory to put on this bike and then it should be ready to go okay guys we got her all done both supporters there clamp goes down tightens onto that of your bicycle pretty sturdy rack now as you can see it already comes with the cable ties there's the bike now we got to do guys we got to come over here and get a pole holder sorry the lights kind of gleaming on it but i was going to put the pole holder because right there I'm going to mount a basket on that and I was going to put the pole holder on the basket but the more I think about it I think I am going to go ahead and mount that rod holder to the frame of the bike I just got to find a place to put it see if it'll tighten up all that good stuff but I think it will so let's go ahead see if we can do that with this thing we'll see how it fits on there so stand by one we'll get right into it Okay guys, now we're going to take this rod holder, again bought it off Amazon, we're going to go through, and this thing's made to be mounted a bunch of different ways, so, and it comes with your U-bolts, comes with everything you need, except the screwdrivers and so on and so forth that you need to get it uh, bolted up with. So you just find you a post on your bike where you want to put that sucker 
get some the included nuts. None of this stuff was gave to me, guys. In case you're wondering, we bought it all out of our pocket. So I forgot to put a washer on the first one. We'll go ahead and get this second one started on there before we take the other one off. Get that pulled out. Grab a washer. It's really dumping the snow. We'll probably get a a good uh snow video maybe tomorrow if it keeps snowing like this all night and I can tell you that. If you guys this wheel this is kind of part of the camper I guess the bike is because we just got tired of last year we stayed home which like I said I'm not a big go all over the place person I guess you could say but I'm anxious to get the camper out. I watched a bunch of videos on YouTube about it. And this will be one of the places I do go is, which the river is called Cranberry. If you guys ever heard of Cranberry, put it in the comments below. But it's a well-known trout stream here in West Virginia. A lot of people fish it. It's come March, May. It's hard to get a camping spot down there. Which it, you don't have electricity, running water. That's why we bought the generator. And I'm not going to be a generator snooze by any means. But in March down there, you're still going to have bad weather. Even in May, you could have bad weather down that part of the woods. If you're not careful. So always keep that in back of your mind. Just because keep hearing the... Just because you're having nice weather at home where I live don't mean 60 miles down through the mountains, it ain't going to be pleasant. Like right now, we probably got all three inches out on the ground. And I think the mountains, I've seen some reports where they got 15 inches of snow already. And I live pretty high up where I live, but we ain't got that much snow. We're about at the 2,000 foot mark. So, but we get snow around here when a lot of other people, you can drive down the road and they won't have an ounce. So, I can tell you already, I don't like how that's acting on there. I need to move it up some. So, there we go. Huh. See what it is, it's kind of pointing in towards the bike right now. And I really don't like that, but I can see where it's doing it. It's hitting the frame, I don't have no choice. I can't put it back here because it'll get in my way. So we'll just keep going tightening this up and see what happens. This kit comes with nice little covers. The bad part is I don't know, man, I don't know if I want to put my rod in that. Because that's going to, I'll probably get another one for the other side. So now what you got, guys, is you got a big nut that is going to go on this part of it. It's going to go through that hole right there. And that will mount on. It has a lock nut on it. That way you can, if you, you can twist this thing however you want to twist it. I got the socket all ready for it. it. Takes, believe it or not, these are all 9 16 and 7 16 bolts. I can tell you right now, though, I ain't gonna be able to get a socket on it unless I can thread it in there pretty good. Yeah, man, that's going. To, it's just it's it's sticking in this way too much, guys. I don't know if you can see. I'm going to go ahead and try to bring you closer here. Let me grab the camera. Sorry about all the shaking. But as you can see, it's kind of tilted in towards the bike. So I really don't like that. But I guess we're going to have to make it work. 
Oops. Hit the wrong button on the camera. So there you have it. And I got a fishing pole ready to put on. I'm going to go ahead and tighten this up right there and we'll see what happens. I may have to see, I could take some of the back of that off. If you want to see where it's hitting at, it's actually hitting right here on the bike itself. And I could probably take the wafer wheel on the grinder, smooth that back so I can twist that out just a little bit. I don't know. May have to give it a try. But let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and tighten it down right where it sets. Let me go get a, a 9 16 wrench or something to tighten this up with. Probably a pair of channel locks is what I'll find. So let me go get that. Okay, guys, I got my 9 16 ratchet wrench here. boom tight love it let's get a pole put the pole in there and let's see what happens i can tell you right now i don't like it no it's at too much of an angle so it's either bend that piece, heat it up and bend it, or try to move that bracket out some. If you didn't have the basket on there, we would probably be okay. And to be honest with you, I could probably take that basket and switch it around maybe and bring that pole holder up some. But I won't take the caps off of it here. I'm gonna tear this apart. see now if it'd be out like that i could handle it all day long but let's go ahead we're going to try to fix this thing real quick while i got you guys on here so we don't make okay guys so i just decided to mount it up here on the rack itself let's go ahead and put the fishing pole in this sucker just see what happens huh well it's not wanting to take my rod very well but that can be there we go oh i gotta say i like it there you have it it's on there should still have enough room up there for the box there we go and that's what it's going to look like so like i said right there and, and it kind of went down in there hard, but I can, I can see why, because you really don't want it bouncing out. Pretty nice setup. And that right there, we'll go ahead and end the video there, but that right there is coming in to the ultimate fishing bike. So guys, if you have any questions, comments, anything like that, please feel free to hit me up. And here it is, guys the start of the ultimate fishing bike. You can see what we've done today. We put on the, a nice comfy seat, put on a nice basket rack, which I like the way the rod holders turned out on this, Go, going mountain to the rack itself. So now all we gotta do is, and I don't think they're gonna be in the way. We, we will try it out though here. We will actually get on it. Yeah, let's go ahead and get on this sucker. Let's just see how it is and if it, oops been a long time since i ran a bike guys so try not to make fun of me too much there we have it get up on there no that ain't gonna be in the way so this will this will make for a pretty good build just gotta get my legs working like they used to but there you have it so far in this, I'm going to say we have 25 bucks, 30 some bucks and 25 bucks. The rod's not included in this because the rod and reel itself probably, I'll, 
eh, probably $200 in the rod and reel itself. So, but there's the start of it, guys. Again, thanks for watching the channel. I appreciate what everybody's done. And I think my head's getting cut off right now. I was going to go ahead and put it in a video. But thanks for watching today, guys. Like I said, check out for live streams. Check out social medias. Hit the subscribe button. If you're not subscribed and you made it this far, also on live streams, guys, you can look on the Facebook page of what all we gave them away so far. We gave away some pretty good prizes, in my opinion, some hats. And I think here soon I'll get some uh, shirts and some hats for the farm. So watch out for those. And we will talk to you guys later. See ya.